uh, it was certainly a day that a lot of people were seeing what Kamala Harris was made of, Cory yep. Booker, uh, Amy Klobuchar, or others. I must say they all three uh, performed very well for the people they represented, but also sent a great message to those that they want to represent as President of the United States. You have Mayor Pete uh, on the cover of Time magazine uh, with his husband this week. Right. And you have, uh, there it is, first family. Yeah. And you, of course, have Joe Biden uh, skyrocketing in the polls. And now Michael Bennett, very impressive senator from Colorado, jumping into the race. Uh, how does he impact this race and the swirl of activity that is the Democratic primary field? Well, look, I mean, I think, you know, Michael Bennett is an impressive guy. Uh, he's a, a smart guy. He certainly uh, fills in, in addition to being yet another senator in this race, he is uh, a guy who, within the, the ideological spectrum of the party, uh, occupies a place that's much, that's more on the, on the moderate part of the party. He's very, he's been a pro-business, uh, has a business background himself before uh, his career in public service, um, someone who brings in uh, an attentiveness to uh, to the uh, to the business part of the Democratic uh, coalition, and and will be seen as kind of a moderate, it may, it not that different from in some ways John Hickenlooper, his fellow Coloradan, uh, who's coming into the race. There are some things that distinguish them, but they're, they've been quite close in their career. So, um, you know, he also got a lot of attention, as you know, kind of a breakout moment. We saw a little bit, a little piece of video just now in that in that pastiche that we have there of him giving that one speech on the Senate floor that a lot of of, of progressives who had not necessarily been big fans. Of, uh, of Michael Bennett saw and said, man, this guy can really, uh, really, he really uncorked a kind of a barn burning speech. That was about a month ago, two months ago on the Senate floor. Uh, and a lot of people paid attention to that. It was kind of a breakout moment for him. So uh, there was questions about whether or not he would run. He was recently diagnosed with prostate cancer uh, and people wondered whether or not that would keep him out of the race. Uh, he very quickly said that uh, his prognosis seemed pretty, pretty good. And, and so him getting in is not a huge surprise. I, I still think it's possible this field is not yet complete. Uh, Steve Bullock, the governor uh, of Montana, uh, is someone who uh, is still uh, out there and potentially is definitely weighing a race and, and some say could get in uh, in the middle of this month. That would probably, probably be the last uh, candidate to enter the Democratic race and so you'd be close to two dozen. Um, which is not a lot of candidates um, for, for the Democratic voters to try to sort out. Uh, but that, and the main thing I think that Michael Bennett brings to the race is another person to, for a lot of Democratic voters who are trying to sort this, this giant field out, uh, yet another person to try to get to grips with as they uh, grapple with what's going to be a very unruly Democratic nomination fight. Well, you know, I, 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 I wrote a Washington Post column on uh, Michael Bennett yeah. talking about how extraordinarily impressive he was. Uh, Mika and I both, uh, when we interviewed Steve Bullock mm -hmm. uh, on set, uh, were really impressed with the governor, loved him. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised he's waited this long to get in. This was always part of his plan to wait mm -hmm. for the session to end. and. Uh, in Montana and then jump into the race uh, and so I suppose that session is coming to an end yep. uh, and perhaps there will be time but there's a, there's a lot of sorting to get through here so many and candidates. I've got to say a lot of really exceptional candidates on the Democratic side and Mika I have I have no doubt that this will yield the strongest strongest candidate to run against Donald Trump Hoping. in the fall of 2020. We'll still ahead on Morning Joe live pictures from Capitol Hill as the House Judiciary Committee is set to begin a hearing without the key witness. There is an empty seat with Attorney General William Barr's name on it. We're going to be covering that live as the Democratic Chairman, Congressman Jerry Nadler, considers whether he'll issue a subpoena at some point to compel the AG to testify. Plus, the White House has rejected the House Oversight Committee's request for security clearance documents. And we'll talk to a member of the committee about that ahead on Morning Joe. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.